have to say I am a victim of digital clutter, so this is a personal <laughs> interest, interest of mine as well. Uh, what would you say is the first step a woman should take to determine if she's a digital pack rat, although I'm pretty certain about my status? Okay, so if you have more than 100 to 150 uh, emails just sitting there staring at you in, the in, in your inbox, chances are you are a victim of digital clutter. That, so that's, <laughs> that's one way. If, if it takes you more than 30 seconds to find a document you're looking for, you are a cyber clutter hoarder. And, and then another, a third way is um, if you have never, ever backed up anything, like any of your photos, you are a digital hoarder. Oh, I think I'm guilty on a couple of uh, <laughs> counts. I'm sure uh, people that are watching will figure out that that's them as well. Once you do figure out, okay, I do, I need a digital cleaning, I need to cleanse digitally, how should you begin uh, the cleanup process? Well, the first step is to use the tools that are right at your fingertips. You know, a lot of computers these days have fingerprint scanners, and for the most part, people ignore them. This computer, this laptop right here, is an HP Pavilion DV6. A lot of the HP laptops come with this simple pass fingerprint scanner. All you do is swipe your fingertip over it. It takes you right to email, right to social media, right to a bill paying site. So you get rid of all those bookmarks, you get rid of all those uh, so-called shortcuts saved on your desktop, and it's just a really good way, kind of one-stop shop for dealing with a whole lot of cyber clutter issues. So that's your first step. Well, what, how do you uh, prevent digital clutter so that you don't put yourself in a position where every couple of months or every month you find yourself back at the same place having to do a digital cleaning? Well, it's just like clutter in the real world. Uh, one of the things you have to start doing is thinking of your cyber world as, as just an extension of your real world. So you don't let mail pile up. You deal with it a little bit at a time. Well, and maybe you do let mail pile up. I know I certainly do. And, and then it's overwhelming. So read your emails 10 minutes in the morning, dump everything, delete them if you don't need them, or set up a file system. Yahoo Mail is great, Google Mail is great. It sets up a file system for you. Uh, another thing that you can do is start saving your stuff on the cloud. It's a lot like uh, having a storage space, you know, outside of your house, renting a storage unit and putting a bunch of stuff there. Do that digitally as well. So I use a service called Dropbox. All you do is, is click on a whole stack of photos and you move them right off into the cloud. You never have to worry about them again. And you can access them across all your devices. So if you have something stored on the cloud and you want to get it to it from your tablet or from your smartphone, it's always right there when you need it. There's another service called Delete Me and uh, Duplicate uh, duplicate cleaner and delete me and duplicate cleaner will go through everything on your computer and find all those duplicate files and then ask you which ones you want to get rid of that's a huge uh, drain from your memory on your computer and that's one of those things that makes your computer run really slowly you know a lot of times we busy moms or busy parents will save you know we'll upload our photos onto our laptop or our desktop and we'll save it as you know kids first day of school, but then it's also saved image one, two, three, four. So you have sure. all of those duplicate files on there just sucking up your space and cluttering up your digital world. So that'll take care of that as well. Well, I want to thank you so much for being on the show today. I definitely learned some great things. I actually took notes as we were speaking so I can go check these things out uh, once we're done. Uh, where can our viewers go to get more information uh, in case they missed anything in our interview? Yeah, this is just the tip of the cleaning your cyber clutter iceberg here. You can find out these tips plus a whole lot more on Tekka, T-E-C-C-A dot com. I do a syndicated column there called What the Tech, and I'll help you sort it all out. <laughs>